Hey guys, it's Emery. Mind, don't mind my hair. It's just all over the place today. Don't know what's happening. But it is a three day weekend and I just wanted to do like a little DIY thing. So what I'm going to do today, I kind of made this on my own. I'm combining some recipes I found and I'm doing a, like a sudsing sugar scrub and I'm going to make it myself. So some of the things that you will need, I'm going to start off with tools. You will need something to mix in. I'm just using this paper cup because it's easy. I can just throw it away. I have some eighth measures just to make it a little more precise. And then I have a little spatula to scrape my stuff off with. And then I have this little spoon just to mix with. And then the next ingredients you're going to need is some olive oil. I have actually lemon or olive oil with lemon in it, so it smells like lemon, which is really good. And then I have some almond oil here. And then I have some sugar behind you, some water, and some brown sugar. And then finally, I have this little mix of shampoos. It's just like the ends of some shampoos that I have left. And some body washes. And it smells so good. I wish I could smell it. And it's really pretty powerful. So that's gonna what's going to make it like a, the sub thing. So first I'm going to take my cup. And I'm going to add. Sorry about that. Let me see. And I'm going to add. That's my sugar lid. Um, one eighth of a cup. Uh white sugar. Ooh, I like that noise. I'm gonna add okay fine I'll add two eighths cup two eighths and then I'm gonna add two eighths of brown sugar. So I don't know so that's four eighths of sugar um heavy heavily packed sugar I'm gonna add because it's there's a difference. Um so it's four, you can use all brown sugar, all white sugar, I just like the mix. So it's four, eight, six, so one, a half a cup, basically, of sugar. Uh, but I'm using two different sugars, so it's different. I'm just going to flop this in here. It kind of keeps the shape, so like I can pick it up, and I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to add another scoop of this, and then I'll be right back. It really depends on how messy you are. This might be, oops, like that. It might be a little messier for some people, like me, because I'm really messy. So, yeah, that just happened. I spilled it all over the place. Okay. So now you're going to take your spoon, this, not not this one, but this one, and you're going to, like, mix these two together. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, and so it's kind of like a combination of them. It might be a little harder, it depends on what kind of cup you have, but yeah, just mix them together until they're all combined. My kind of technique is to like, okay, you can't really see this, but to pull it up on the sides like that and then scoop the white from the bottom and pour it on top. And then it should help it like kind of combine together. Once you have it mostly mixed together, you kind of want to jab at it to get all the little lumps out. I'm such a messy person. Why am I so good at like that? Okay, anyway, next you're going to add some, about half of an eighth cup, so I guess one sixteenth of oil. Actually, like just like one fourth, one third. Not that much, because you're going to add a lot of other liquids, and you don't want it to be too liquidy. So I'm going to eat that. Ooh, does that look cool? Can you see? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to, like, mix, 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 mix. Make sure it doesn't get clumpy together. I know it's clumped out of it, you know, it's weird, it's weird. I mean, my brother both do that, we go Niga Hut, just weirdness. And then I'm going to add about the same amount of almond oil. 
or any other kind of that's my sword. Um, like olive oil, peppermint oil, any kind of oil that you want on your skin. Like I wouldn't put maybe I don't know. I wanna put like vegetable oil in here because like I know olive oil is like oh same thing. Well, like kind of not. Cause I mean, ew. I don't know why I just wouldn't put vegetable oil in here. So after you're done with that, it should kind of feel a little greasy and it should like pack together, which is good. And then you just wanna add like after I have a lid, I would measure with the lid. I'm just gonna add a little dash of water just to help with the mixing process and then I'm gonna start spooning in the, the shampoo I'm gonna add all of this I hope and if it's too much and I just add more sugar as I go so I'm just gonna add little spoonfuls of this and oh yeah I probably shouldn't be using this and then I'm gonna take this one out this spoon out I'm going to start using this spoon to mix with. Mm. And this is going to be a little... Oh my god! This is going to be a little more liquidier than a normal, like, sugar scrub. And then you just add more sugar if it gets too liquidy. So once... um, It's kind of like whenever you temper eggs, I guess. Or, like, add your conventional sugar to... Once you have, like, you've added enough that it's, like, normal, you just pour the rest into the rest of your shampoo and your stuff, whatever. Like, I would probably use body wash, but I, like, I put a mix, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to keep adding until I don't have a lot of this left, so, yeah. Okay, so you might be like, oh, no, it's too watery, because that's what I thought at first. See, it's kind of, like runnier but what you want to do now is you're just gonna see like you'll see how runny it is so you'll pour it into your shampoo and body wash mm, looks like i would not recommend eating this but i mean like if you didn't have a shampoo in it you probably could eat this like it's kind of like you know blush makes those lip scrubs that you can use like on it's like safe to eat because like if I didn't add the shampoo, it's just a bunch of oil and stuff. Or if I didn't add the almond oil, it would just be a bunch of oils and sugars, which is kind of... I mean, I wouldn't, like, just eat it by the spoonful. But, I mean, if it got in your mouth, it would be okay. I'm pretty sure that, like, this wouldn't... It wouldn't taste very good, but if it got in your mouth, as long as the shampoo is safe to eat. Not eat, but, like, ingest, like, not too much. It would be okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was in the way. So you're probably like, ah, oh, it's too liquidy. It is too liquidy. So now I'm going to add, using a different spoon. Ooh, I still have some, oh, stuck. I still have some shampoo left in this little container. So you can, that's what this spoon is for. You can, like, get all your little excrements out. And then now I'm going to add another bit of sugar. I would use the white sugar if it starts to get too liquidy because the white sugar doesn't like, I mean, a mix of the white sugar and the brown sugar because the white sugar dissolves faster than the brown sugar. So you don't want to like just keep adding sugar if it's not going to like combine. It's kind of like when you make too liquidy of a dough and you want to add more flour. You don't just add a bunch of flour. You want to add some sugar to it because if you add just a bunch of flour it'll become sorry I'm feeling it to make sure it's where I can see it'll just become a big floury ball you don't want that because the more sugar you add to it the more it's gonna like take up the more space so just mix and then I'll show y'all a little bit so you can see that it's done so and now I'm gonna add some more Brown sugar. Yummy brown sugar, brown sugar. I used to like when I was little, I used to eat, not little, like I mean, younger, I used to eat like brown sugar by the spoonful. Is that bad? <laughs> I'm just gonna start adding more brown sugar or any more type of sugar until it gets like to the consistency that I want it to go. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all like what the consistency should be by adding so. 
I'm going to take some sugar, just a little bit, and I'm going to put it on the top, and I'm just going to lay some over it and mix it in on the top part, and you'll see. And that's the consistency. It should be. It should be like, okay, so I'm going to pick it up. It should be, like, no, that's too thick. So I'm going to mix it in a little more. I think this is actually pretty good with the batch. So when you pick it up, it should string, and then if you tip it over, it should, like, glop. This might actually be a little too liquidy. So now I'm gonna, I think this will be the last. I think I probably added about maybe total, about a cup probably. So you don't want to start off with just a cup though. I would start off with the same measurements I told you because, see like if you just like that, where it like thicks, like no, that's too thick. But I wouldn't just add like a whole cup and like in the beginning because then you can, might make it too thick. And if you don't have enough like stuff, or shampoo or body wash left, then you might like not not have enough. Okay, so I have this big chunk of brown sugar in here, so I'm gonna take that out. Maybe crush it out. Maybe I can crush it out. I can crush it out. Okay. Like I said, it's gonna be a little messy because it is sugar, but you you probably do this in the bath many times, so it's not like too bad. Sorry, this is just a bunch of me like talking. But can do voiceovers on my phone. So now I'm going to show y'all, to get all these out, I'm going to show y'all what it looks like, like how it forms, kind of like a, a demo, sort of, and then you can like tie this up and put like a little mini label on it, and you can purchase those little labels, and it, like you'll, like you can give it to a friend as a gift, but I'm going to go show y'all what it looks like under the water when it sets. Yeah, okay, your sink is kind of a mess right now, but, so I'm going to take this, I'm just going to take a little glob, this, I put this on my, like, legs before I shave, and then it makes them all nice, so, I'm going to take some of it, kind of rub it on my hand like I would a sugar scrub, and you can see it's already kind of starting to suds as I go, and then if I take some water, because we're going to be in a bath, hopefully our shower, it'll suds up so it's kind of like a clean because it is sugar so it'll clean you and then once you're done it, i guess the maybe the shampoo makes it like come off easier so because normally i have trouble with getting sugar scrubs off so you can like this is also very soothing i don't know why that's just me like flubber and stuff like that it's like really soothing to play with and stuff oh my god just me oh, i have to use this again Oh, there's a hair in it. Is that a hair? No, it's not a hair. That scared me for a second. I was like, how did a hair get out of here? So, yeah, you can just like play with it. You probably can't see anything. Wow, scary. Okay. But, yeah, there we go. So you can play with it. You can get it on your hands and just exfoliate. See, I'll do it on my arm. Ignore the nail polish there. See, it's already starting to suds up, and then if I run it out under some water, it'll just sud right off. <laughs> and I really like this. I kind of just like, I don't, I, I wouldn't really say I made this up on my own, but I just took a bunch of like, because I knew how to make a, like a DIY sugar scrub, and I knew how to make some like, I, well, I don't know, I just like, like to mix, I used to like to mix my shampoos together, so I kind of knew how to do that. So. I just kind of mix these two together. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also subscribe to my friend's channel. Her name's Ashley Alley from Ashley Alton um, in, on YouTube. That's her name. So, go subscribe to her. And I hope you guys had a great time watching this video. And I will see you guys when I come out with the next video. Bye.